you know hanyul my boss said that he will raise my salary from next month and i'm so happy because i can buy your medications more and you will get well soon you said while kissing your brother cheeks uni please buy something for you every time you will spend money for my medications only then when you will fulfill your needs he said with pout face my dear brother once you get well we will both buy what we like and we enjoy very much i hope i will get well soon unni i want to explore this world like others and see many things you will do definitely one day hanyul trust me unni you came here directly after your job right yes why hanyul do you want anything no unni i don't want anything you go and rest you must be tired he said while holding your hand no my little brother i'm not tired after seeing you my whole tiredness gone and i'm feeling fresh now then you both laughed and talk about many things then a nurse came and said that doctor called you and she went off hanyul i think doctor has found donor for you i will go and visit him and till that time you eat this apple okay unni you go and talk with him and go home after talking with doctor because it's getting late and it's not safe for you to go alone at night unni he said and you kissed his forehead and kissed his hair and said okay bye hanyul i will come tomorrow she said and went out of the room you were going towards doctor cabin but he came towards you good evening doctor i was coming to your cabin only hum van i want to say something important news that's why i came here regarding to your brother he said slowly and while seeing his sad face your heart started to beat fastly yes doctor tell me what about my brother did you find any donor you said in little hope that doctor has found donor to your brother nova and we are trying very hard to find and if we find also it's not matching with your brother it's getting complicated with your brother issues please doctor please try he's my only hope now please we will try va and but your brother health is getting more serious now if we not found donor in 5 days you will have less chance to leave va and and also you have to pay money you are not paying from past 2 months please pay it before we get donor and we start surgery and if you not pay it we are not going to do surgery for your brother if we get donor also so please pay it back before late and we call your uncle but he is not picking up our calls please check it what happened to him he said and went from there and tears form in your eyes you want to save your brother but it's not in your hands and while rubbing tears you got out of the hospital you were coming back home and it started raining and this rain is helping you to hide your tears you are not caring for anyone and walking on road while crying the pain which you hold in your heart because you faced a lot of troubles in past and now also and you had no one to share your feelings and cry on their shoulders you are van park van 20 years old you had a sweet and short family your mom dad you and your little brother who is 5 years younger than you you four members used to live happily but one dark and rainy day a car accident took place and your parents died in that and you and your brother were saved in hospital after that your both responsibility has taken by your grandmother and she raised you both till your 10 years and unfortunately she also died because of her whole age and 
then your both responsibility was taken by your uncle and aunt they both didn't like you take care of you but they did it because of your father money and they took care of you because of society won't say anything to them if they used your father money and after your father money completed they started to torture you both and when you both completed 18 years you started doing part time job to give them money and fulfill your needs and your brother expenditures and your troubles and your hard life didn't stop here only one day your brother got fever and you all thought that it will go off in 2 to 3 days but it increased more and he has to admitted in hospital because of severe fever and after doing the test the result shocked you all doctor said that your brother has a heart failure and it has to be transplanted soon and you all became shocked and your body started to tremble in fear of losing your brother for some months your uncle paid hospital bill but he stopped paying and you started to ask him every month to pay bills to save your brother and doctors are trying very hard to get donor and transplant heart to him but till now they didn't got any case that matches your brother and every time when you visit your brother the staff members ask you to pay bill but you don't have money and you asked your uncle to pay and every time he scold you and say that you both became burden to them and scold very much to you and today after listening your doctor words you were very shocked that you don't know how to pay hospital bill and how you are going to ask your uncle to pay bill and and you are very much scared that will doctors find donor for your brother or not because it's very hard to find donor for heart transplantation and for paying bills for the family like you middle class and without parents it's very hard for you to pay bills on part time jobs only and you don't want to lose your brother and you want to do something and save him and you are trying very hard to help your uncle to pay bills because without your brother you will be alone in this world as you has no one in your family time skip You went inside the house and saw your uncle and aunt are sitting in coach with their 10 years old son and watching TV. And when you enter in the house, your aunt said, "Tell me where you were, auntie. I went to see Hanyol in hospital." Okay, come inside. We completed dinner and there is no food. Food is completed. You can eat cup noodles and go and fresh up and eat that. Um, okay auntie but i want to talk something with uncle what it is and what you want to talk now uncle why are you are not paying annual hospital fee i have given you my part time job money to pay right then why didn't you pay who oh, yeah i forgot to pay is fees but i took your money to pay my son school fees I thought why to waste money on that person who is going to die soon then you didn't say anything and tears form in your eyes your uncle is saying right but and why we should waste money on that person who will die soon she also said this and you got angry How can you both say like that to my brother he will get donor soon and he will be saved so i want to pay his whole hospital fees so that the surgery can go fastly and you both are talking like this but and if you pay all your money in hospital then what you are going to give to us do you think my home is any kind of orphanage i was raising you both from many years don't you think i invested more money on you and your brother so you have to pay back to me now how can you say like that uncle you used all my dad money if we have that money now 
we can save a new. Now, without any problem, you use that money for your enjoyment. When you said this, your uncle slapped you and you kept your hand on the cheek and started to cry. You are talking too much, Van. Go inside to your room. Now, he said while shouting and you went from there while crying hard. You came inside your room and fall on the bed and started to cry hard. You wanted to save your brother but you didn't have money to save him and your uncle won't help you in this. You felt helpless and started to cry very hard. And while crying, you slept on bed without eating any food. You woke up by the loud sound coming from the downstairs. You flinched and sat on bed and you saw the time and got shocked. It almost 8.30 and your job starts at 9 a.m. and you got up fastly and went inside the washroom and to get ready while totally ignoring the sounds coming from the downstairs. After getting ready, now you were slowly going down. Earlier it was so noisy and now it's very silent. What happened in this house? And why it's very silent now? And you came down and saw many men in black suit and one man is sitting and all are standing in front of him, including your uncle and aunt. And you were shocked by the scene. The man sitting on coach looked at you with widened eyes and glared at you and started looking at you from top to bottom and you felt uncomfortable by his looks and you little bowed to them and started going out of the house. Who are these people? They are not looking like normal at all and they are looking like mafia. And what connection uncle has with them and why they are here. I think it will be better if I leave from here fast. I should go now. You were about to go out. But then man who is sitting on the coach stopped you by saying, Hey girl, who are you and what are you doing here? With his cold voice, your body felt goosebumps and you turned back. Come here and tell me who are you.